Okay, so I've just received that tripod from KNF Concept, and I wasn't expecting to have something this great at this price. So what we have inside is the tripod. So great bag. Will I use it? Probably not. So that's the tripod, and again. It's not the best tripod out there, that's for sure, but it's really impressive. And what is really impressive is its versatility, not how quick you can use it. So first of all, you can open the foot just right there, and there's, there are those clip right there that stop you at some level. So if you want to have something very low and very stable, well, you have it. If you want to have a regular tripod, you can open it more, just like that, and you got it. That head can drop to that level and go up, up to here, and, hmm, well, that's the part that is quite slow. You have to uh, unscrew all of those part and it's one of the first time that I use it so probably that over time I can get quicker at it but actually well it, it does take some time and no actually I'm not screwing in the right side so yeah that's probably the part that I don't like this much but wait for it, it's, it's kind of impressive. Okay, trying to do best with that one. Think you get it? Let's fast forward. Okay, so here we are with the regular tripod, but This one is shorter. Okay, <laughs> I get it. So, actually we already have something that is quite high, but you can unscrew those one and... That's a huge tripod, can you see the top? No, it's so high you can't see the top. So, yeah. I'm six foot, so that's really tall. But there's one other thing that is kind of great. <laughs> uh, well, you got a hook right over here. Uh, so if you want to put a bag or something to be more stable, that hook can be a great tool. But the thing that is the most impressive, if you see that part have this um, foam and you can unscrew it to make a monopod. You got a monopod. But that's not it. You can, if you want to put it higher, you can remove that hook. And actually that's maybe a part that take a bit of time. As I said, it's not the quickest tripod to use, but it's very versatile. 
So you can unscrew that top part. And remove the top here. To screw it on top here. And you got this huge monopod. If you want to film something really high, well, actually, I'm going to touch a ceiling that is at 13 feet. So, yeah, it's really impressive. It's not even expensive. And for the head, you got a ball head. You can move the way you want, and I didn't, I didn't try it yet. But let's remove that. It seems that that it seems kind of smooth. I never ever use a very expensive tripod, but I would say that probably this one is actually the best I tested yet. And it's really not expensive. I don't know. I don't have the price by half, but you can check it with the link in the description. And there should also have a coupon code, um, so you can save even a bit more. Oh, and well, that part I don't really like it. If you want to set the camera, you have that little part that goes away that you have to unscrew. I think it's a bit time-consuming again. But at least there is that you don't need a tool to uh, screw your camera inside. You can pull up that little lever and screw it with your finger. But it's just when you want to set it back, you have to put it in place, screw, and I think it's a bit dangerous. But anyway, if it's well screwed, that's solid and that should be fine. But yeah, I don't know, with expensive camera on it, yeah, I like it to be clip. So whatever. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in another video. See ya. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. And if you need help to find this product online, please see my links in the description. Finally, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you're looking for a great unbox video. See ya.